cleats also known as studs are the protrusions found on the sole of a shoe. Nowadays, cleats have become more common in sports shoes with each sport having different cleats requirements. Since the field may be slippery or muddy, cleats help the players avoid injury while in the field. Baseball and soccer require high usage of cleats because of intense running while playing. Both soccer and baseball players require cleats for traction, protection and stability in the field. However, soccer and baseball cleats are different because soccer fields are mostly covered by grass while baseball fields are made of hard clay materials. Variation in the types of cleats exists due to its different athletic needs. Though soccer and baseball cleats have some similarities, there are some notable differences too. It is advisable to use the required cleats for each sport especially for children. This is because children can be less careful while playing. For soccer and baseball cleats to serve their purpose, they must be comfortable, light and made of good quality material. What are soccer cleats? The spikes of soccer cleats are thick and are normally made from rubber or plastic material. This feature protects soccer players from injury since the spikes tend to sink in the sole wherever two players come into close contact. The soccer cleats are lengthy and heavy but still maintain their nature of being supportive. Soccer cleats are also tight and are made of lightweight material since soccer requires players to run for a period of time. The materials used in making soccer cleats are flexible and thick, lying enough to ensure you feel the ball when playing and still thick enough to sustain the multiple kicking involved in soccer playing. The sole of soccer cleats is designed in a way that brings the player closer to the ground. This is accentuated with the removal of the midsole or by making the cleats as thin as possible. Soccer cleats also don't cover the ankle to ensure easier foot movement. What are baseball cleats? The spikes of baseball cleats are mostly made of metal or plastic material. If made of metal day, the spikes made of metal are usually sharp, thin and well-edged. This is because they are mostly meant for stability, not protection, unlike the soccer cleats. The nature of the baseball game requires heavy and stable cleats. Therefore, the cleats are made of thick material like leather, have reinforced toes and excellent ankle support. The material used to make these cleats is inflexible, but this does not affect the player since the nature of the baseball game requires minimal footwork. The baseball cleats are light with studs of similar length. The sole design of these cleats also takes into account the midsole, which in most cases is thick. Since the baseball game involves a lot of running and sliding, the cleats have a feature that supports the ankle. Soccer cleats are made of rubber or plastic material while baseball cleats are mostly made of metal. Soccer cleats are round and blunt while the baseball ones are long and pointed like spikes. Soccer cleats are meant to provide protection for players by reducing the risk of injuries. On the other hand, baseball cleats offer less protection and more stability for the player. The studs of soccer shoes are round at the front area and are of different lengths, for the baseball, they are spike-shaped with similar lengths. Soccer cleats are light with thin midsole while the baseball cleats are heavier with a thick midsole. Baseball cleats have an ankle support feature to help while running and sliding. The soccer cleats, however, do not have an ankle support feature. Soccer cleats are made of thick nubs meant to prevent injuries. On the other hand, the spikes in baseball cleats are sharp and are mostly made of metal. I'm packing up for today. Hope this explained video made you a little expert of the two cleats. Thank you for staying with me till the end. Hope you have a great day.